Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy, DJ City Manos. So I'm having trouble downloading the apps for my battery. The battery is a Jupitech Power Supply, and the Jupitech app doesn't work. So I went to um, Amazon, and I was looking at the comments, and some guy already did the work for me. He actually talked to technical support, and technical support recommend that he download a different apps because this apps is outdated. So hopefully they fix this apps, but for now, I download the other apps, and the other app seems to work. The other apps is, um, it's like a generic apps, um, but it works. So it was so simple to do. I just turned on the app, and on this one, I gave access to uh, my Bluetooth to, so for the devices, and it scanned it, and it found my power station. Um, so here goes my power station. It's pretty cool. It shows a percentage, and it shows the uh, remaining hours. So I hooked up my killer, my kilowatt meter to it. So this one I hear what it says, it says 81, 81 percent with 16 hours remaining. So we're gonna look at this, compare it. So right here it has 81 percent right there with 16 hours remaining. So right here I'm gonna compare the output and it says 54 watts and my kilowatt meter. Hold on, let's change it to watts. It's showing 51, 52. So showing 51 over here showing 53. So it's pretty much accurate. And you can see that the Bluetooth is, is flashing. So that's pretty cool. Um, this app is kind of scary because you could control the power. You could turn off the power on these. So that's kind of scary in a way because if I hit the power by accident, it's going to shut off. And we're going to do it right now. We're going to turn off the power to the battery using the apps. So right here... Here's the AC output. See, it has a little switch where you could turn it on, on and off. So right now my stuff is on. You can see that the the, the platter is on right there. Let's go ahead and turn it off, and we're gonna see that it's gonna shut off. See that? Now it's off. And you can hear it kind of quiet. The power is off over here. No more. It's not running. So that's kind of scary. So let's turn it back on. Here goes another thing. See this way it can't come back on because this is off. So let's turn this back on. The Bluetooth's back on. Now it's got a connection. <laughs> Crazy. Now we can turn this on. Hear it? So now it's on. Here it goes coming on. Everything's coming back on. That's kind of scary though. But I do like it that you could control the lights. You could turn both of the lights on. So now both of these lights is on. So you have this light on. Then we have this light on. And then you could turn the lights off again. Or if you want to keep one on. So let's keep this, uh, turn this one off. And let's keep that one on. So now this one's off, and this one's on. Pretty cool, I like that. You can turn this off. Let's turn both of them off again. Um, yeah, that's the only thing that's scary if I hit the button by accident. Um, you could turn the powers off to the, U the USB ports. Turn it on. So now the power to the USB should be on. And let's go turn on the car, is it car ports? switch on so now that's on that's on this should be on over here so yeah they're on right here you can see and that's is on so that's pretty cool now i'm turning it off but don't the the, the what i want to use the ask for just to see this monitor the the hours left the remaining hours that's what i wanted the apps for but i wish i had the other apps because you could monitor the temperature you could monitor everything else um, you can monitor the alarm if there's a, like an alarm. Like if you lose power, it tells you that it's an overload, overheating, or whatever. Um, so, but this is good enough right now, this apps. Um, so I won't have to be bending over. And I could just check my phone and just see where I'm at with the hours remaining. So let's say I'm doing a gig and I'm at four hours, four hours, and, I, and they want a fifth hour. And I could, instead of bending over, because, you know, you know, your boy's lazy. 
I just come in my apps and say, oh, yeah, I got enough battery juice. I could do two more hours if you want, you know. <laughs> so the apps does work. Um, I can, I'm going to keep you guys posted on this battery. Um, I am going to hook up my system because I got a scoot dance coming. So I'm going to bring out my speakers um, and plug them up. I'm not going to take my sub, this one. The scoot dance is going to be outdoors. But I was planning on doing what I did at the park. Four speakers. Um, there's going to be my two RCFs, my two EVs. And I'm going to try to do a surround sound. So the whole, I'm not, if, if, if that's outdoor, I'm not sure we're exactly going to be outdoors. It might be in the basketball court. It might be on the court, it might be in the courtyard. But whatever I do, I'm going to have two in front of me, the two beside me, and two somewhere in the distance. And I'm going to take my, my stealth with me. And we're going to try to do a surround sound where the sound is like in the middle of the dance. Um, so this battery is going to control the two speakers and my equipment. And the other two batteries, since I'm going to have them in a the, in the distance, I'm going to have them one rest battery connected to one's EV and the yellow battery connected to the other EV. So that should work. Um, what else? Another test I want to do is I heard if you hook up an extension cord, um, the extension cord, like let's say if I hook up a 50 foot extension cord, that the power is not going to reach to the speaker, not the hundred percent power is not going to reach to it. It's going to be a lag. It's going to be less power. So I'm going to test that out and see if it's true. I'm going to debunk it and see if it's true. Um, so I'm going to get a 50 foot extension cord and just to test it out. I'm going to test out that speaker and see if the speaker sounds fine or if it's lagging the power. And I'm going to hook up my meter to it and check and make sure that it's all good. If that's a, that's false, I'm going to debunk it because I do want to, because when I have my speakers right next to me, I always hook it up to a 10 foot cord. Um, so I'm going to just try a 50 foot cord in case and see if it works. Um, if the speaker, if it works, I'm going to debunk it. I'm, I won't have to worry about that. I want to make sure that this battery doesn't crash out on me. So I'm going to be testing it. Um, like right now, I have it plugged up. I haven't charged it yet. I'm going to let it drain out slowly until it's completely dead. I'm going to charge it again, recharge it. Um, just to test out the battery. Make sure that it does work, doesn't overheat. Uh, make sure that it doesn't shut down on me. Doesn't. Um, uh, you know, have you ever seen those, those heat guns? A lot of people do a test with the heat guns because um, they have a knob on the heat gun. That you could change it, make it hotter, hotter, hotter. And um, and this is supposed to do uh, 1,000 watts before it shut off, before it's overload. Um, if you can see that it's not even drawing, not even close to 50 watts. So it's supposed to be a 1,000 watts before it shut off. Um, I don't have a heat gun, so I'm not really worrying about shutting off. But I am going to test it with my, I'm going to hook up these speakers to it. Um... Just to do the test, make sure that everything's working fine. So I keep you guys posted on all this stuff, all these little crazy experiments I'm doing. Um, I'm excited. For, I'm excited for this battery. I'm excited. I can't wait to use it. Um, yeah, I'm just excited. I already advertised on my page, my web page, that I'm ready for uh, off the grid gigs. So people already know, so they could just read my page and say, "Yo, um, I'm, I just made a comment saying, if you guys doing any tailgating." Any, uh, you know, camping, park, park, uh, need a DJ for at park, anywhere. Um, I'm ready. To, I'm good to go. You know, I'm, I got my little generator, my little power supply ready to, ready to go. So hopefully I get some gigs off of that. And hopefully I do some crazy gigs like at a, at a park or at a camp, you know, tailgating, <laughs> some crazy stuff. Like, a, let's say, um, even, even like a, um, like, let's say somebody call me if there's a baseball game. Like, they have a little, little, you know, game at a baseball park or something. The, they want me to use my equipment just to announce uh, the, you know, just anything crazy that I could do. You know, I don't, I don't have to have a loud generator. This is nice and quiet. If you can hear it, it's quiet. The only time you're going to hear it make a noise when the fan turns on to cool it down. Um, they do have some fans on the side right here in the air. Just shoot this way and it comes out the vents. Got some vents on this side. So I was looking at it. It has like two... Uh, let me see. Let's look at it. I think it has like two. It's hard to see. But I can see a fan here and a fan there. You can see the little sticker there. And there's a sticker here. So I think it looks like it has maybe. I don't see nothing down here. 
Yes, there's a fan here. I could see it. There's four little fans. I could see them. You can see the little sticker. So there's two, four little small fans inside. There's nothing here. So it's shooting air straight ahead to cool it down. So it's nice and ventilated. And then the side, the other side has a, a vents. Vents on this side, so the air is shooting out. Um, and I got this little fan, so I'm going to lay this on top of that to keep cool it down some more. So, yeah, I'm ready. I'm going to see how it works. Um, test it out. Make sure everything's all good. So, right now, it's showing 51 watts. Over here, it's showing, because I turned it off. There it is, 48 watts. So, it's pulling one watt more. Three watts more than this one. Not bad. So, this is your boy, DJ City Manos, and I am out. Peace.